If you're watching this, this is the extended uncut version, so thank you. Hey, welcome back. My name is Alex. I'm a freelance videographer and filmmaker, and today we're taking a look at Espa's Girls. If you want my full uncut reaction, check the Patreon link in the description below. If you're not already subscribed, join the crew, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump right on into this video. As always, I read the lyrics, but I did not listen to the song quite yet. The lyrics are like a continuation of the SM culture universe. That's what it seems like. Seems like they're gonna go and fight Black Mamba in this. The effects are really good as usual. Okay. Are they standing on water? Is the ground water? I feel like it is. I feel like the ground is water. Definitely is, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I love the performances on top of water because water is so reflective. You can see like the dragons and this entire, you can see the dragons and this entire hallway just on the ground. There's a lot of movement with the camera. Oh, her eyes look beautiful. Okay. Okay, the music changed quite a bit. Looks like Black Mama is watching them off of the security cameras. But there's their eye right there. Okay. Oh, that looks good. I'm like waiting for, you guys were saying that this video is, is pretty crazy. There's a lot to look at. So I'm like, I'm waiting for that to happen. I'm assuming it's gonna happen like at the drop. This entire four wheeler is just, ATV, that's the word I was thinking of. This entire ATV is a 3D model. So she actually has a sword and she goes like that, but no. This ATV is a 3D model. It looks very solid though. It looks really good. Oh wow. There's a lot of camera movement. There's even like a couple like hitting cuts in there. But all of that camera movement, you'll notice like but all of that camera movement adds intensity. So that intensity is like slowly starting to rise as we go throughout the song. So they're pairing like physical zooming, they're pairing physical zooming with like digital zooming where they zoom in after the fact. And that just helps to build the intensity. And that just helps to build the intensity. Oh, wow. Oh, hold on. We have an actual Black Mamba. <laughs> when you pause it and actually look at its face, it looks very cartoony. Like the eyes are almost glowing and even the fangs, like it, it looks very strange when you pause it and actually take a look at it. But when it's moving fast, it looks really good. I think on the hand, Looking at it go up the arm right here, it looks very solid. It makes it look really tiny compared to this bracelet. Ooh, okay, we had stuff floating there. Yes. 
this. Now they're at the next level. What is it? Oh. What happened? Why does it look like that now? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I just want to see the, the stuff that was... I really like that shot right there. I'm a big fan of shots that revolve around the subject, which this is kind of doing. It's more of like a like a circle, which this is kind of doing. Um, but I like that all of this stuff in front of the camera in the foreground, like it's moving so fast, and then the camera ends up pretty close to them at the end. Their eyes look amazing. Yes. Okay, uh, they're on the next level now. How did she get through that? <laughs> okay, their transitions are pretty good. It seems like they're sticking to like a couple different colors throughout this video with the red, the green, the purple. I thought these guys were the bad guys. Are they on their side now? I thought these guys were the bad guys. Are they on their side now? That looks good. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. I was not expecting her eye to come through. Those fight scenes are so cool because they're first person. I feel like we don't see that that often, but it's like actual. Those fight scenes are so cool because they're in the first person. It's like you're the one actually fighting. I guess that answered my question and these guys are still not on their side. How do they do that? It's an actual thing because of the way it's affecting her hair. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is a direct like continuation of the SM Culture Universe. This is a direct continuation of the SM Culture Universe. That's how we left her in that video. It was looking like this. Like she is a little bit more realistic than the rest of the eye, but she's not fully realistic. The animation is very solid. It looks so good. 
Look at her cheek. Like, there's even definition. Like, she has pores on her face. Espa as a group is fairly interesting when you get into their music videos. It's almost like you have to watch the previous music videos to understand at all what is happening. Like you have to do your homework. Like you have to do your homework in a sense. Oh, it looks so good. We got some lightning too. Okay. Are they finally gonna reach Black Mamba? Ooh. Oh, yes! I like how that, that light looks. I like that scanning light. <laughs> it really goes into the theme of like I like that scanning light. I wonder how they are doing that. Maybe they use a maybe they're using a projector. Or I guess they could use an actual light and just close it off. But it fits into like this theme. It fits into the theme of like a vault too, because it looks like they're almost in a vault. They're definitely in a server room. But again, all of these zooms that they have, it almost looks like they're pinching. It almost looks like they're pinching to zoom in. It almost looks like they're pinching to zoom in and that's the effect, but like that intensity is rising. Like as they keep getting closer to Black Mamba, like we're waiting for that to happen. The intensity is building. So they're doing that with all of the zooms and then they're also doing that with the uh, flashing light coming from the elevator in the background. It looks like it's like tracking to their face too. Oh, her makeup looks amazing. Okay. Oh, that scene looks so much better without the lights. Look at how dramatic it looks when they just have this backlight on them. Yes, the mirrors look amazing too. They were in a vault. Oh my god, this changed up so much. I was not expecting it to sound like this. What was that? What? What am I even looking at? <laughs> it's like the world becomes liquid. Everything is, is liquefied. It looks really good. I don't understand. Maybe we're seeing like the worlds collide a little bit. Hold up. Okay. Oh.
than her reflection. And then she breaks like a reflection, like a mirror. This must be her. This must be her reflection that we're seeing because it breaks like it's like a mirror breaking. So we see that reflection too. And then obviously the eye are a reflection of themselves in general. Okay. It's like I'm I'm waiting for the confrontation. Like I'm waiting for them to finally reach Black Mamba. What is it? What is that? Whoa. Was that it? No, okay. That was way too easy, I feel like. There has to be a third episode of the SM Culture Universe where they like actually confront Black Mamba because for them to just destroy that rock, for them to just destroy whatever power source or that floating rock or whatever it was, and to have Black Mama kind of disappear seems a bit underwhelming. So I definitely think that they are going to have an episode three of the SM Culture Universe. Because all that hype kind of just... It didn't pay off with them defeating Black Mama. Like they didn't even they didn't even see her. Why was she even in this? <laughs> For all my Patreon people, let's watch this one more time. See if we can see anything else. I love the futuristic aesthetic that all of this has. Their eyes look so good. It's a very solid video. I feel like it wasn't too crazy though. With the effects. I feel like you guys hyped it up a little too much to me. I was expecting to be just completely blown out of the water here. Their sets are amazing though. She's watching from the eye universe right there.
Are they tracking their faces there? That effect is so cool. <laughs> It's like, it was so underwhelming. It seemed like there was going to be such a bigger fight at the end. Interesting. Very interesting. What video should we look at next? Let me know in the comments below. I want to give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, specifically Caroline, Jemmy, Julia, Kimberly, Lucas, Melissa, Miss Heiju, Sabrina, and Victoria. If you're not already subscribed, join the crew, hit that subscribe button, and all right, all right.